You are? Oh, gee, that is nice. Hey, Bob, this is the band. All right. Uh, what kind of music do you usually have here? Oh, we got both kinds. We got country and western. Interesting facts about famous people. Spencer Tracy's Westerns. Tracy was an acting icon. His career began in 1930 with Humphrey Bogart in Up the River and ended in 1967 with Catherine Hepburn in Guess Who's Coming to Dinner. Within this 37-year career, Tracy starred in 75 feature films and several short films, acting in many genres, including a handful of westerns. Today, we will take a look at these offerings. If you like this video, hit that notification button and get my videos as they come up. Take a look at my channel to see all my videos. The link is in the description. Nineteen forty, Northwest Passage, a nineteen forty American western, directed by King Vidor, starring Spencer Tracy, Robert Young, Walter Brennan, and Ruth Hussey. Set in seventeen fifty nine, telling a partly fictionalized version of the real life St. Francis raid by Rogers Rangers, led by Robert Rogers, played by Tracy, in the primarily Albanaki village of St. Francis in modern day Canada. The screenplay by Lawrence Stallings and Talbot Jennings is based on the 1937 historical novel Northwest Passage by Kenneth Roberts. I'll kill you, Rogers, and I'll eat your head too. Nineteen fifty four, Broken Lance, a western directed by Edward Dimitrick and produced by Sol C. Siegel, starring Spencer Tracy, Robert Wagner, Gene Peters, Richard Widmark, and Katie Gerardo. A remake of House of Strangers, nineteen forty nine, with the Philip Jordan screenplay, based upon the novel I'll Never Go There Anymore, by Jerome Wideman, transplanted out west featuring Tracy in the original Edward G. Robinson role, this time as a cowboy cattle baron, rather than an Italian banker in New York City. It has been widely noted that the story bears a strong resemblance to King Lear. No. It's too much, Pa. Get him to cut it down. Why, you... This is to keep Joe out of jail. Sign it. No. We're not going to sign it, Pa. 1955, Bad Day at Black Rock, a neo-western directed by John Sturgis, with screenplay by Millard Kaufman, starring Spencer Tracy and Robert Ryan, with support from Anne Francis, Dean Jagger, Walter Brennan, John Erickson, Ernest Borgnine and Lee Marvin. A crime drama set in 1945 with elements of the revisionist Western genre. In the plot, a one-armed stranger, Tracy, arrives in a small desert town and uncovers a secret that has corrupted the entire community. Based on a short story called Bad Time at Honda by Howard Breslin. It was a box office success and was nominated for three Academy Awards in 1956. Might help you pass the time for a while. Well, uh, I got other things to do about it.
1962, How the West Was Won. The last Western in this list today that Tracy worked on. In this film, he used his voice as the narrator. This land has a name today and is marked on maps. But the names and the marks and the land all had to be won. Won from nature and from primitive man. Five generations ago, a mere 125 years back, this land was known only as the West. Known only to a handful of white men. Lonely trappers wandering. Thanks for your time today. I hope you like the video. I appreciate likes, shares and subscribers. Don't forget to hit the notification button to get my new videos. Drop me your comments. Bye for now. See you again soon. Interesting facts about famous people.